$1,000. In aging Singapore, the funeral business is getting old faster than others. Most funeral directors and their staff are between 50 and 60 years old, and they're facing the pressing challenge of attracting young people into a business that's often seen as old and morbid. But it is also a multi-million dollar business and growing. Tan Chiu Yi talks to funeral directors to find out how they're tackling the industry's own silver tsunami. Jenny Tay is 28, one of Singapore's youngest funeral directors. The former advertising executive took over her father's business a year ago and has since kicked off a new chapter for the company, computerizing, rebranding and offering new services like grief counselling. With better services, with more like modern services being offered, it will change the image of the industry as a whole and people will change their perception of how the funeral industry is right now. It's not a glamorous job, but not everyone we spoke to said no when asked if they'll consider working in funeral services. If I know, then I will. Why not? Uh, no, not at all. You won't be short of, you know, won't be short of business. Uh. There are no official estimates for how much the funeral industry in Singapore is worth. But with basic funeral packages costing anywhere between five and $10,000, more than 18,000 deaths a year and growing at a rate of 2 to 3 percent is big business. Still, there's no guarantee the industry will get the right people. A few things in life that is uh, more painful than losing a loved one through death. And at that point of time, you want someone to be able to hold you by the hand and walk through this difficult time. And we want people like that who is committed and not come in not just for the money. Industry players say the manpower challenge is manageable for now, but they're looking at a real crunch 10 to 15 years down the road when Singapore's baby boomer generation starts to turn 80. The question many are asking is will the industry be able to answer to this need for its essential services? And coming up after the break, track a soldier's movements with a smartphone or create a smaller radar for more effective surveillance. Just some of the ideas from the Young Defence Scientist.